Okay, so in the last episode, I was stumped on a puzzle that I didn't quite get very much. And the puzzle was you had to memorize where these uh, pattern locations were on the location of that statue in the middle of the room of the ancient cistern. However, I wasn't really understanding what they actually meant. But you're supposed to swim underwater in the order that it tells you to, and you'll see the gemstones in which you're supposed to hit in what order. What order for what gemstones, you ask? These are the gemstones. So if you swim around to the locations, like the back, then the rear, and the bottom of the right hand, the bottom of the left hand, the pattern should state, if you get in the right order, up, down, left, right. And that should open the door. What's up, you guys, and welcome to the next episode of Skyward Sword on RT Online. On the last episode, I went a bit insane because I couldn't solve that puzzle right there. But thanks to my friend Alex helping me out in the comments, he was able to guide me in the right direction. Now we can finally move forward in this dungeon, and hopefully beat it in this episode. I know that's asking for a lot. I don't really know how big the ancient cistern is. We're just gonna do as much as we can. So, there's also another trick that he taught me. If you get the, if you uh, get rid of the rope like that, these spiders are afraid of water and they'll die. So yeah, there's other ways of cutting the spider web, but the hook beetle is the best option because it's the most accurate. But yeah, you don't have to fight these spiders. You can just get them in the water and boom, they're dead. For example. Goodbye. Simple as that. No, go back. I always make that mistake and just launch him. Okay, so let's... Here we go. Whoa, going underwater. Okay, so the only path we can go right now is across from here, so let's see what's up ahead. Oh god, not you! There we go. Made it! Wait, what's up here? Huh. Maybe there's something underwater. Yeah! I didn't think about that. Oh crap. I didn't mean to do that. Make sure you use your sailcloth. Wait, I opened a path? What did I do? Oh! That was unintentional, you guys. Wait a minute, let me turn around. I missed the red rupees. Money, money! Indian money, to be exact. Yeah, rupees are Indian currency. So that means... Nah, that doesn't mean really anything to the Zelda history. Okay, let's make sure we bust through all these at once. So, have you guys seen the trailer to the new Dumb and Dumber trailer? I mean, the trailer to the new Dumb and Dumber... Uh, talk about the Dumb and Dumber sequel. It's called Dumb and Dumber 2. And that's spelled T-O. Go look it up on YouTube if you haven't seen it. Like, uh, I'm a huge fan of the original Dumb and Dumber. I wasn't a big fan of, of the prequel. Like, no one really wants to remember that because it was really bad. But for this one, they're actually getting Jeff Daniels and Jim Carrey back. And it looks pretty true to the formula what made the first movie so great. Ooh, small key. We can use that to get to the door. Alright, so now that we've got that key, we can go back into the other room. But as I was saying, yeah, the new Dumb and Dumber. Go watch that trailer. The, the humor is the same. It, it kind of is the same formula. I don't want to tell you guys what the story really is about. I want you guys to go look up that trailer and see it for yourself. If you haven't seen the first movie, go watch that movie. It's one of the best comedies of all time. I know that sounds like I'm saying a lot, but oh my god, I love that movie. I've watched it so many times and I'm still not tired of it. And yeah, this one looks really great too. It kind of, yeah, it, it's got the same types of humor. I feel like I, I, I just completely ignore the age because it's obvious how much they have aged from their time from the first movie to now. But even in the movie, they state that it's been like 20 years since the first movie. So it makes sense for them to be older and not make them look younger with makeup. I'm really excited for the movie. I don't know when it's coming out, though. Ooh, what's this room? This is the cistern, and it's very ancient. Another key to the boss room, I presume. Hi, Fee. Master. I have taken the liberty to confirm that a door is located on an uppermost section of the statue. The lock is unfamiliar to me. Yeah, it's unfamiliar to me too. Alright, this looks like something that the gust bellows can do. So let's do just that. <laughs> Even though it's metal, I don't think it would work. Yeah, I kind of figured it wouldn't work. Maybe I stand on it? No, that's not the trick. Maybe we hit it with our sword. No. No! Stop. Okay, that's not what we do. How about... 
Let's go up. Alright, Hook Beetle, don't fail me now. Uh. Oh no! I, I don't know! Crap, I'm stuck again. But it's okay. We're just gonna have to experiment a lot. Maybe we go down? Yep, this is like the right thing to do. I didn't use my sailcloth though, that was my mistake. Whoa, it's like a leader Argonaut! With four swords! Oh wait, no, he just has four arms. Oh! Crap! Alright, this is like a mini-boss. Wait, is he dead? Oh, nope, nope, now he has four swords. The Legend of Zelda, four swords Argonaut! Uh. Oh, shit. This is not good. Patience is the virtue of what we must use to kill this mofo. Ah! Uh. Oh! Whoa! Okay! You're playing rough! Huh. Wait a minute! Oh wait, no, it's too late for that. Oh wait, maybe it's never too late! Get back, get back, come on! Did that work? Yes, it did! But not for long. We gotta try that again. Okay... There you go! They really don't stay stunned for that long. Bombs are pointless. Well, yes, I know, Fee. My health is low. Just leave me alone. I'm not going to use my potion yet. I'm going to save that for later. I have no idea what awaits us in this dungeon. But I do know it's not going to be pleasant. You know what? Maybe we get a new gadget for beating this guy. That would make a lot of sense. Jesus, man, this guy is strong. Jesus, this guy's really hard. Ah! There we go. We did it. <laughs> That's really goofy. For such a threatening boss, he sure can make me laugh. All right, any treasure chests? No? Okay. I'll take a door. Is there a treasure chest behind this door? Ah, I was right. Correct as always. I hope it's a new gadget. It is a new gadget! The whip! Oh, I never expected that. Attached to the end of the whip is a strange glowing sphere of light that can latch on to various things. If you see something you can't reach, target it with Z and swing the Wii remote to snag it with your whip. Snap! There's only two more gadgets remaining. Hmm. I'm wondering what they could be. I wasn't expecting a whip in a Zelda game. Has that been in any other Zelda games? I don't remember that device at all. Okay. So let's use B. Awesome! So that's what we can use to help us in this dungeon. I like it. I like it a lot. It's different. And I like different. Here we go. Just swim forward and bam. Now we do that to the other levers and then we can find the key to find the boss in this dungeon. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Yeah! Woohoo! Alright, one more time, but with feeling. Oh wait, no, there's a door. Oh, crap. Um... I think this is a sca an escape route. I'm just gonna use my hook beetle and see what's... What's the hubbub? Oh, hi, Buddha! I'm out of here. There's nothing really I can use with my hook beetle, so I'm gonna go back and use my whip to get all the way to the top. Inside the noggin of Buddha. 
Noggin of Buddha. It sounds like a good episode title. Here we go. Swing! Woohoo! This is a great temple. Very well designed. So now we need to find that key, and I'm sure it's up here. No, the boss is probably up there. So maybe we can... Wait, what's this? Look for the key that lies beneath the earth. So we gotta go down. Based on the patterns we have seen so far, I believe the key mentioned on the stone marker is the key required to unlock the device ahead of us. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much for that denunciation fee. Alright, we know it won't open, so let's go. Okay, we're at the very bottom of this thing. And that door is what we use. So, no, let's go up. Let's go up and then fall out of the Buddha statue. <clears throat> so let's go one more time. Here we go, and there's the door where we can hop out. Great! Here we go! Okay, so now that we have this whip, we can solve some puzzles that we couldn't before. What can we do? I wonder if we could pull levers with this thing. It's probably a good idea. Let's go test it. Hmm. Let's go up these stairs and see what we can find. Exploration is the key to the dungeons, just so you can learn new things. Oh, we could swing across this thing with the whip, probably. Holy crap, that's so cool. So it's not just used for turning these as well. The treasure chest is mine! Hopefully it's not a trap- Whoa! Oh yes! We really needed that! A dungeon map! Okay, it's not as big as the Linnae Mining Facility. Already a plus for me. Ooh. It's a whole nother room back there. We can't go there just yet. Maybe we can... Looking for something. Do you think we can make that jump? I don't think we can. How do we get over there? Maybe. Mm, I don't know. This is really tricky, and I don't want to fall down just yet. Oh, hi, bird! Oh, you look like an enemy. Bat! Bat! Oh, God. Huh! You're not very nice. There we go, Skyward Strike. Nope, nope, not good. Wait a minute, I know. Nah, it doesn't deflect fire. Alright, I'm out. Nah, okay, you know what? I guess I'm jumping down. Woo! So now that we know that the whip can actually latch onto things that we didn't really expect, maybe we could try locking onto that lever that's up there and try pulling it. It's the next best thing. Ooh! It could flip lily pads too! Very helpful indeed. That's not what I was expecting to do, but it's probably what we needed to do. Oh, this whip is probably my new favorite thing! It does so much! Now the waterfall has stopped. Now we can go into there. Wow, Alex, you are right. I can figure the most of this stuff out. I just needed to get on the right path. Thanks for having faith in me, bro. Okay. Swimming inside the fish's gut. Yeah. It's all icky and stuff. Ooh, what's in here? Oh, another spider to kill. I wonder if we can use the whip against it. Okay, nope. Oh god, no, 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 no! Slam! Fatal blow! These spiders, I remember them being so hard back in the uh, Skyview Temple. I'm sure I've grown a lot. <gasps> Whip time! We can even get it through gates! That's a. Um, wait, can we? Yeah, we can! That's awesome! So wait, is this the. Uh, I'm not gonna question it. Let's just keep on going. 
It's a moblin with a bow. Oh, no, that's it for him. Holy crap, this is a big room. We only got five minutes. Let's make the let's make the good use of that time. Alright. Where can oh god! He just came out of nowhere! Okay, so what can we do? Well, water has been our friend so far. Okay, that's probably where we need to go after we activate something. So, let's worry about that later. No, stop going underwater! Oh, I think we need to dive out. Okay. No problemo, let's just... There we go. What's down here? Oh, it's death. Wonderful. Hmm. Let's abuse our whip. That sounds very kinky. Uh, not on you. Oh, ow. That's, that's not nice. There we go. Whoa, that was close. Thank you, Whip, for being so versatile. Alright, you guys are going down. Never mind, I'm going down. There we go. Alright, Fee, I get it. Just shh. I can handle this. Here we go. Let go. Oh, I think this is just a platform for us to get safe on. Alright, here we go. We could let go right... No, 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 no. Okay. Let go. Your moblin is going down. Oh no, we missed! Ah, oh, Damn it, now we have to go all the way back up. But first, let's take care of the spider. And... goodbye! Drop a heart, please. Aww. Oh, we don't have to go all the way back up, there's a thing right there for us. Sweet! Okay, now we gotta swing on the thing! With our whip. And... Bah! We made it! But now there's three of these things we gotta kill. <laughs> there we go. One more! No! There we go. Stop dropping rupees. I don't need you. Wow, this dungeon is really fun. I'm having a lot of good, good times in here. Minus that beginning part. Now that I know what to do, it's a whole lot of fun. I'm doing just as much as fun as I did in Skyview Temple. All right, here we go. Whoa! It's a tornado! This water is never drained, even though it's being sucked in. Whoa, the music really slowed down there. Huh? Spider! Maybe we can... Oh, God! Th two spiders! Three spiders! This is not good. But I think I know the trick. Maybe we, if we could flip the lily pads from underwater, we could kill them like that. So... No, no, not bombs. No, Fee, not now. Hmm. This is tricky. But what we can do... No, not that. Uh, hook beetle. Cut them down. That way they're easier to handle. Oh! Oh yeah, the things flip over after weight, and they carry weight. Link isn't the only thing that's heavy in this game. So let's kill all three of them like this. Good job, Hook Beetle. You got the most kills in this entire map. Now we have access to that underwater path. But first, we're going to do that all in the next episode. So next time we meet, we're going to go farther into the Ancient Cistern. 
made great progress in this episode, and I don't see that stopping anytime soon. So I hope you had a good time on Ride Time. I will see you all next time.